On this episode of Cox Connections, providing Peninsula Boys and Girls with a safe place to learn and grow has always been the mission of Boys and Girls Clubs of the Virginia Peninsula. Today, we'll find out how this organization is making a difference. Also, where there is need in Hampton Roads, you'll find the Salvation Army. We'll learn how they are making an impact in our community. And it's across the Commonwealth and it is here in Hampton Roads, human trafficking. We'll talk about this important subject today. Stay tuned, Cox Connections is next. The centers are truly designed to be homes away from home for our service members. Our goal is to help them not just get out of homelessness, but to help them to stay out of homelessness. We leveraged $44 million in financial aid and scholarships. Boys and Girls Clubs are rallying communities so that we can ensure that our kids have a great future. Salvation Army Ray and Joan Crock Core Community Center, the phenomenal facility that will change lives. Hello and welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Emma Inman, Director of Public Affairs for Cox, Virginia. Since 1946, starting out as Boys Club of Newport News, the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Virginia Peninsula has been helping youngsters to realize their full potential as productive, caring, and responsible citizens. Here today to tell us more about this organization and to give us a look at future plans is CEO Hal Smith. Hal, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Tell us about the Boys and Girls Clubs. Okay. As you mentioned, our mission is to inspire and enable all young people, especially those who need us most, to realize their full potential as responsible, caring, and productive citizens. We provide after school and summer programming at 13 club locations. We have a youth development park, a workforce development center, and actually two thrift stores where all of the proceeds from the sale of our uh, items go back to our Boys and Girls Club program. And who are the youth who you serve at Boys and Girls Clubs of the Virginia Peninsula? We serve 6,000 youth annually uh, in the communities of Williamsburg, York County, Gloucester, Matthews, Hampton, and Newport News. So all over the peninsula? Yes, that is correct. 6,000 kids, that's terrific. Um, I know that you've got, uh, in addition to sort of the normal things that you think of with the Boys and Girls Clubs, you're also interested in helping the kids to live healthy lifestyles. Tell us a little bit about your feeding program. That's correct. We have a, a USDA feeding program called Eat Smart. Uh, this program we partner with Pocosin City Public Schools where we're able to provide hot healthy meals and snacks to our kids every day after school and including our summer program. This is a great way for, for us to handle the issue of childhood obesity because kids actually get to eat a, a hot healthy meal and actually see what that meal consists of. And I, I know that it's really important for your kids not only to sort of have a healthy hot meal, um, but also just to see how to do that, what's in that, what that means for them. Yes, yes, each meal of course consists of uh, a meat, a grain, a vegetable, a fruit, uh, and milk. So while our kids in the, are in the club, we can ensure they have that healthy lifestyle while in the club. That's terrific. And I know that you're also focused on workforce development. Tell me a little bit about your new workforce development program. Okay. Well, we actually started our workforce development program in 2010. And this semester, the spring semester of school, we actually uh, in instituted a specialized program called the YES Academy, which stands for Youth Employment Services. This takes a deeper dive into our workforce development program. It teaches kids the soft skills necessary to uh, apply for a job, write a resume, dress properly for an interview, obtain a job, and actually retain the job. We also uh, provide the ability for our kids to explore different careers as well as college exploration. On top of that, our kids actually perform community service projects so that they understand the value of when they are in the workforce to actually uh, give back to their community through serving their community. So, yes, Academy. I love the name of that. Um, it's a program for teens. What's the age range of the uh, kids who participate? 15 and up. So uh, we're, we're right at the point where our teens are ready to join the workforce and our goal with our kids that graduate through this program is to help provide them with the opportunity to get a job 
a uh, summer job or a job con to continue through the school year. So not uh, only are you teaching them how to do that, but helping them to do that. That's correct. Wonderful. Tell me a little bit about what some of your goals are. Um, you are new as CEO for the Boys and Girls Clubs. What do you see as, as the future for the clubs? Well, first I want to say how truly honored I am to lead this uh, wonderful organization. We're in our 70th year of existence uh, and I'm actually only the fifth president and CEO of Boys and Girls Clubs of the Virginia Peninsula. So we've That's had a impressive. Yes, 70 years. We've had a tremendous amount of uh, sustainability through our leadership and transformational leadership. I'm really honored to carry on the legacy that Steve established. And really our main goal for the future is to continue what we've done over the last 20 years, which is to methodically increase the impact in our community by serving more teens and serving more communities where we're not currently uh, serving as well as uh, giving our kids the opportunity to graduate from high school on time with a plan for the future. And we really want our uh, Boys and Girls Club alums to become the leaders in our community. And then once they become those leaders to actually give back, give back. to their club through mentoring opportunities uh, and, and other service projects to their club and their community. So they can help the kids who are coming behind them. That's correct. Um, I know that uh, you've got some events coming up and there probably are some ways that folks who are watching can help to get engaged with the Boys and Girls Clubs. Tell us a little bit about that. That's correct. On uh, August the 10th, we have a uh, play ball field day uh, at our Youth Development Park, which is at 746 Adams Drive in Midtown Newport News. This is an event through uh, Mayor McKinley Price and the city of Newport News, which uh, piggybacks on Major League Baseball's play ball initiative. So we've kind of taken that, that initiative and expanded it as a community event that's free of charge uh, to, to folks in, on the peninsula. We have sponsorship opportunities for corporations or individuals that want to, to give back and to support our programs and programs that the city of Newport News has to offer as well. So that's play ball, um, and you also have a Smart Smiles 5K coming up. Yes. Tell me about that. Yes. Our, uh, so our Smart Smiles 5K is a yearly event that we have that uh, funds our Smart Smiles uh, dental program, which is a part of our healthy lifestyle program, which offers free dental care to our members who are either underinsured or uninsured and providing them that, that necessary dental care. Uh, on August the 20th is our event this year and information about uh, sponsoring or participating in the 5K is available at our website. Well, Hal, thank you so much for being here with us today and thank you for the great work that you and your staff do um, with those 6,000 children on the <laughs> peninsula. We certainly um, love the Boys and Girls Clubs and um, know that you're a tremendous part of helping those kids to be successful in the future. Thank you very much. Coming up, the Salvation Army provides basic necessities to our neighbors who are most in need. We'll hear about their programs and how you can join in. Stay tuned for more Cox Connections.